Hey, party people, I am so excited that we are back for another Throwback Thursday. Lois! Lois, it's back! I heard, Peter! I heard! Kids! Kids, it's happening! In case you've forgotten, we are ripping into 1991-1992 Skybox Series 1. We're looking for that guy right there. MJ, the GOAT, Michael Jordan. We're going to rip open six packs today, so we're going to take four plus two. My math skills are unsurpassed. There are six packs. Let's put that aside. Like I said, we're going to rip open six of these packs today. Just love those retro 80s designs. I'm going to have so much fun with this. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this, too. Uh, I know you're going to have some fun. So why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. You know it would boost my ego. You know it would make me feel good about myself. And you also know that it would really help out the channel. Uh, we can't grow without your support. So... What are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. There is still time for our 850 subscriber giveaway. So after you subscribe, check out that video here. And uh, that'll tell you how to enter the giveaway for all these cards. One lucky subscriber. There's numbered cards. There's rookies. Cards from hot boxes. Autos. There's an auto there. Pudge Rodriguez rookie cup. Relics. Shohei. Freddie Freeman, another Shohei. Really cool stuff. One lucky subscriber who enters is going to win that giveaway. That's a uh, thank you from me and from the channel because we hit 850 subscribers. Our next little step in our journey to 1,000 subscribers is at 900. And here's what we're giving away for 900 subscribers. We've got some Pro Set and Sage Autos. There's uh, Justin Fields. There's T-Law. Jerry Rice, there's a cool 90s card. It's actually another Jerry Rice in here. John Elway, mid-90s. There, Joe Montana. Garrison Hurst uh, from Classic 4 Sport. It's numbered. This is cool. Daryl Jackson, Rare Metal Rookies. Where is that other? There it is. This is the other Jerry Rice. There's a cool Emmett Smith card. Pinnacle, it's what, 93, 94? 97? He was still a cowboy in 97? Wow. Uh, anyway, there's a Zaven Collins rated rookie silver. This we are going to give away when we hit 900 subscribers. And we're already on our way there. But again, you got to be a subscriber uh, in order to enter those giveaways. So go ahead and do that. Uh, you can comment down below what you think of this series so far. Uh, have you ever opened this and pulled anything really cool? Like I said, we are looking for Jordan cards today. Uh, and you can also uh, comment what you think we should be giving away for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I still don't know. We're not there yet, but that's a special one to me. I want to give away some cool stuff. So let me know what you think down in the comments. When we come back, we're going to rip open into these six packs. Stick around. This one's going to be fun. All right, party people, we are diving right in. Here is pack number one for today. There's 15 cards in here. Obviously, we're also looking for other Hall of Famers. But in Series 1, the cards that are really worth the money are the Jordan cards. Series 2 has the cards that have tons of value. That's the Dream Team USA Basketball. So I'll have to try and keep my eye out for Series 2. I would love to rip open one of those boxes. James Donaldson. Going to have to check like estate sales and, and garage sales because that's like a $200 box otherwise. Alex Kessler looks like he's playing volleyball more than he's playing basketball. There you go. Randy Brewer. We have a science E equals MC squared. Stay in school. That's the one of the inserts that they have in series one. James Edwards. Jerome Kersey, Dwayne Farrell, nothing too big in this one yet. Dennis Scott, Orlando Magic, Cedric Ceballos, 
AJ English. Come on. Oh, Daryl Walker is a top rebounding guard. Let's take a peek here. He beats out Magic Johnson, Clyde Drexler, Michael Jordan, and Mitch Redmond. That is one heck of a list to lead. Good job, sir. I don't believe you're a Hall of Famer, though. Last card in this one is Stacy King. Stacy King. Stacy, I believe this is the card that's fooled us before in previous ones when we thought we were getting Michael Jordan. <coughs> well, pack one, not so great. Not so great. Let's see if pack two will make up for it. There we go. We got Scott Brooks, we got Maurice Cheeks, nice name, Drazen Petrovic, Charles Barkley, there we go. This is a Hall of Famer, this is a card we haven't pulled yet, and our first Hall of Famer, there you go. Good job, Chuck, getting by him. Great player in his day, but never won a championship. Alton Lister. Social studies, there we go. That's my kind of subject. If you didn't already know. What do we got back here? Kevin Johnson, Reggie Miller, okay. He majored in history. I knew I liked Reggie Miller. It's okay not to do something just because everyone else is doing it. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Social studies, there you go. Vernon Maxwell. Is Vernon Maxwell in the Hall of Fame? I actually am not too sure. I don't I don't think so. He's a popular player, though. We'll put it there for now. We have Eagle Knight. Horace Grant. Horace Grant. A uh, couple rings with the Bulls, right? At least three. Pretty sure. There you go. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, though. But that's a cool card. We're looking for his teammate, Michael Jordan. Nope, but here's Mitch Richmond. Uh, we've seen him pop up a couple times. I can't remember if he's a Hall of Famer, though. Uh, we'll put that to the side. Again, interesting card, good player. LaSalle Thompson. Sedele Threat or Threat. There you go, Seattle Supersonics. Seattle Supersonics, who became the Oklahoma City Thunder. Lester Connor steals to turnover ratio leader. Odd category to lead, but who else is there? Maurice Cheek. Doc Rivers. Look at that. Alvin Robertson and Tyrone Muggsy Bogues. Cool card. Cool card. And Doc Rivers, we haven't pulled one of his cards yet. Last card for pack number two is Kendall Gill. He was an all-star in the 90s. Not a Hall of Famer, though, I believe. He's only six foot five. He looks way bigger than six five in that photo. Good lord. Not bad though. So we at least got a Hall of Famer in pack number two. Will pack number three have the Jordan? Honestly, we've been doing pretty well with Jordan cards uh, in this series, so I'm really hoping the success continues. Nothing yet though. There's Ken Norman. Got a checklist card. We got Bill Lambeer, Detroit Pistons legend. I believe he's a Hall of Famer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Reggie uh, Theus. I believe Bill Lambeer, if not in the NBA Hall of Fame, he's in the Pistons Hall of Fame. Dwayne Coswell. Kevin Duckworth. <laughs> Funny photo. Herb Williams, Dallas Mavericks. Reggie Williams. See that? That's the most plain of the backgrounds we've seen so far. I mean, loving the designs, but hey, there's John Stockton. Assist leader. That's cool. Obviously, Hall of Famer John Stockton. And all-time leader in assists. He's got like 15,000 of them. Jay Humphreys. Milwaukee Bucks. That's a, that's a cool logo back in the day. Wonder if they'll ever... Uh, do they wear retro jerseys in basketball? I don't, I don't even remember. They do in baseball and football and hockey. I can, I'd imagine they would. It'd be cool to see those logos come back. There's Doug West. Hey, Manute Bowl. 
Jeez, his arm looks like it's like five feet long. Manu Bowl, isn't he a Hall of Famer? I know Dikembe Mutombo's rookie year was this year, but he's in Series 2. I think Manu Bowl's in the Hall of Fame. We'll put him aside for now. Sam Perkins. Yeah, very late 80s, early 90s look there. We got Delaney Rudd. And last one for pack number three is Frank Brakowski. Well, at least we're starting to get some cool stuff. Still no Jordans. We got three packs left. Here's pack number four. Hopefully pack number four will give us some more Hall of Famers, including Jordan. I'm really hoping we can get two more Jordan cards. <clears throat> hey, but here's our... <clears throat> Good Lord, can't speak. There is our first Scotty Pippen. There we go. Hall of Famer right there, right off the bat. And that's the first one we've pulled in the series. Travis Mays, that's really cool. Daryl Walker. Scott Skiles, best single game performance for assists. Yeah, we got to take a look at it. Let's see. 30 assists in a 155-116 win. Good Lord. Broke the record by Kevin Porter of the Nets in a game against Houston. Not too shabby, sir. 30 assists. It's like no one missed a shot. <clears throat> Steve Kerr. I don't believe he's currently in the Hall of Fame. I do think he will end up in the Hall of Fame uh, as a coach. So we'll put that over here. Bo Kimball. <clears throat> Orlando Woolridge. Hakeem Olajuwon, there we go. I believe it's the first time we've pulled this one, too. There we go. Pack number four has been great. Hakeem Olajuwon. Let's take a peek at the back of this one. Seven foot, 258. Already seven years pro by that time. Very, very cool card. <clears throat> Glenn Rivers. Another checklist. Oh, here's a 100 Years of Basketball. We haven't gotten this one yet. Ladies Basketball. Women Take the Court. The first official record of a basketball game involving women was in 1893 at Smith College in Northampton. Of course, it's at Smith. No men were allowed to watch the game, and the women, who were not permitted to expose any skin other than their hands and faces, wore bloomer-type uniforms when playing. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, girls are encouraged to play basketball at a young age, much the same way boys have for decades. Yeah, still doing it. WNBA still around. Still needing subsidies from the NBA, but it's never been more popular than it has right now. I think that's that's a lot to do with Caitlin Clark, Charles Jones, Dale Ellis, and Hershey Hawkins. And and you know what? Say what you will about Caitlin Clark, a lot of people are making it a race thing, and I, I, I don't think it's that. I mean, I know there are plenty of people who find her attractive. Um she doesn't fit the normal WNBA narrative. But I think the reason why most people enjoy watching her play is she kind of plays like a man. You watch her game, and she's playing a lot more the way you see men play the game. And and that leads to you know more scoring, you know, better passing. No, no not that oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. Not that, you know, the women's game is, is is worse or they don't pass as well. It's just played different. And Caitlin Clark plays uh, kind of more the way that men in the NBA play. And, and that's translated well because she's scoring. You know, she's doing well. And I say good for her. We need more of that. Uh, especially if that league wants to take off on its own. Because uh, it's still receiving a lot of subsidies by the NBA. I don't think it's actually... Uh, has it ever had a uh, season where they made a profit? I don't think so. I still think they're kind of held up by the NBA. Uh, which is a, a... Let's face it. They've had 
a hundred years to build the product. It's not like, you know, they're nothing. Uh, but the NBA's had a hundred years. All right, they've they've had this built-in machine. All right, and it's pumping money out left and right because everyone likes the product. Everyone likes watching basketball. Um, you know, just give the WNBA time and it'll get there. This is pack number five. If I don't get canceled. Ah, there we go. Patrick Ewing, there's our first Patrick Ewing, another Hall of Famer right there. And a local guy, I believe he's from Boston. Look at that. Very cool. Look at the look at that look. Screaming 90s. There you go. Otis Smith. That Buck Johnson. Another checklist. That's like the third checklist in two packs. Eddie Johnson. Liddell Eagles. Sam Bowie. Nice, nice looking dunk card right there. Terry Porter. We got Avery Johnson. Mike Sanders. Can we find a Jordan? Hey, there we go. Asking ye shall receive, right? There we go. Points leader Michael Jordan. We have not pulled this one yet. Look at that. Points leader. Who's he leading? Everyone. He's leading Bernard King, Michael Adams, Charles Barkley, and Orlando Woolridge. Points per 48. 40.8. We are already going to go ahead and sleeve this up. Gotta love it when you pull the goat. Let's set him up in front of the modern goat. Let's face it. LeBron. LeBron's the best on the court now, but uh, he's going to have to give up that mantle soon because now he's an old man. Now he's an old man. He's going to have to give that mantle up to someone. Don't know who that's going to be, but awesome card to pull. We got Jack, what? Jack Sigma. Sounds like a bad joke. <clears throat> Danny Ainge is another Hall of Famer. and We're getting cards we haven't pulled yet, so that's cool. <clears throat> we got John Morton and another Hall of Famer, Robert Parrish. Very, very cool. Very nice. We 15 years pro in this already. 15 years pro and had... See, by that time it'd be three? Three rings? At least three. Celtics had three in the 80s. With Bird. And he was there for three or four years before Bird. Yeah, at least three. Anyway, here is pack number six. It's going to be the last one of this opening. We got Danny Manning there. I think we've pulled that one. Terry Mills. Craig Hodges All-Star Weekend Highlight. Thrilled the crowd. A record 19 three-point shots in his row to his second three-point shooting title. Huh. Defeated Terry Porter, 17-12 in the final round. <clears throat> Hodges, Dale Ellis, and Larry Bird are the only champions in the six-year history of the event. Oh, only those three guys, and Bird's one half of them. Well, I believe uh, there's a couple people now who have at least two. Maybe a couple that have three. I don't know if anyone has more than three, though. Uh, it'll it'll have popped up by now. There's Mark Eaton. Byron Scott. Tyrone Corbin. Alvin Robertson. Again, just love that logo. <clears throat> Kevin Gamble. Celtics gotta be green. Purvis Ellison. Again, the, the designs in the back. Simple yet... <clears throat> Very retro, very cool. I like it. And look at that. I've been looking for this card. We got another Jordan in the last pack. Gotta love the last pack magic right there. Let's get this sleeved. Look at that. 
Michael Jordan great moments from the NBA Finals. Yeah, all, <laughs> already is one of the greatest and most exciting players in NBA history by 91. Very, very cool. You can pause it there if you want to read it. <clears throat> That's awesome. We got two Jordan cards, and it's two Jordans we have yet to pull, which is awesome. And we still got a little stack to go. There could be another Jordan hiding in here. Andre Turner. We got Chris Morris, maybe a Hall of Famer. We got three cards left. James Donaldson. Ricky Pierce, our last card of this opening. Uh, it's not going to be Jordan. It's going to be the volleyball player, Alec Kessler. 611. Yeah, could have been volleyball, but there you go. Man, we got some cool stuff in here. We got that 100 years of basketball that will probably get me canceled because I dared say something about Caitlin Clark in women's basketball. Manute Bowl, I think, is a Hall of Famer. There's some stars in here. I think Mitch Regman's a Hall of Famer, too. Maybe Horace Grant and Vernon Maxwell. Uh, obviously, social studies, all stars for social studies. That's awesome. And the definite guys I know are Hall of Famers. We ended up, we started, what, the first three packs? We only had Chuck. Look what that, look what we found in the last three, including the two we'll talk about next. There's Robert Parrish, Danny Ainge, former teammates. There's Patrick Ewing, Kim Olajuwon, Steve Kerr. Again, not in the Hall of Fame, but I think by the time he retires, he'll, he'll be at least a Hall, I think he'll be a Hall of Fame coach. There's Scotty Pippen, John Stockton. Bill Lambeer, and again, Chuck, Charles Barkley. Fun player to watch. And of course, the guy we are searching for. We got two new ones. I have been hoping to pull this card right here. Such an iconic card. So cool. Love the look. Great Jordan cards. We got two more to add to our stack that we've pulled. Guys, this was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed ripping this open and sharing it with you guys. Uh, if you had fun like I like I know you did, hey, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Boost my ego, makes me feel good about myself, but it really helps out the channel. We can't grow without your support, so hey, support the channel if you feel like it. Hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. You can also comment down below what you think of this set, how you like these Jordan pulls, what you think we should be giving away for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, all that stuff. You can comment down below. And uh, whether you comment or not, whether you subscribe or not, you watch the video. So I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll catch all of you on the next one. See ya!